All right, everyone. Today we're gonna solve about appreciation and depreciation uh, in using logarithms to do and all that fun stuff. So let's get started. All right, so first thing we have to look at are the two formulas. Now you're gonna notice that these formulas are practically the same. The only difference is, again, with appreciation, you're gonna have a plus. So we're gonna have the plus. Actually, I should use green, because, and I'll explain why I'm gonna use green in a minute. And then with depreciation, we have a minus. And again, I'm gonna use red for that, and I'll explain why in a minute if you haven't figured it out already. Now, other than the, those slight differences, everything else of the formulas are exactly the same. Okay, so let's talk about the pieces, okay? So my V stands for the ending amount. So what you're gonna end with in the account when you're finished, okay? VO, or the original value, is what you started with, or what you originally put into an account, that kind of stuff. The R is a rate given as a decimal in the equation, but when they give it to you in the, in the problem, it's going to be a percent, so you have to convert to decimal. And T is going to be time, typically, in years. Okay. Now again, same thing on the other side, depreciation, the V is the final amount. VO is the original amount you started with. R is the rate as a percent, or as a decimal in the equation, but given as a percent. And T is time, typically. Not get, not get big. Yeah, you got big idea in math book? Good for you, Glenn. So again. So then the big question becomes, well, what's the difference between the appreciation and depreciation. And this is why I used green and red. Appreciation is when the value is increasing. So again, for appreciation, the value increases. Okay. Whereas a depreciation, the value of the object decreases. Okay. All right, so that's the difference between these two. All right, so let's get started. All right, so taking a look at this one, okay, let's start with number one. I'm gonna shrink this to smidge. Okay, it says, the cost of a graph and calculator depreciates annually at a rate of 9%. After five years, it will cost $87. What is the cost of it today? Okay, so now again, we start off, again, first thing you do when you do a word problem is you read the stupid thing. Okay, second thing we're going to do is we're going to go through and let's highlight all our valuable information. Okay, the cost of a, a calculator depreciates, which tells me I'm going to use the depreciation formula. At a rate of 9%, that's going to be my rate. Okay, so let me change color with that. Hey, stop it. Rate. Okay, now, after five years, that's my time. Okay, the cost is going to be $87. So again, that's five years in the future. So that's future value. So that's this guy right here. And we're going to find out what it originally costs or costs today. Okay, so usually what I do is I set up V. Oh, shoot, I'm writing with my highlighter again. V, V, O, R, T. Set up all the pieces we're going to need. So let's fill in what we know, even though we highlighted it. So V is going to be $87. Okay, VO, I don't know what that is. Time is going to be five years. Now, 9%. This goes as a decimal, so it's going to be 0.09. Okay. So let's set up our formula. V equals VO times 1 minus r raised to the teeth. Okay. So, let's fill in what we know. V is 87 equals VO 1 minus the rate of 0 0.09 raised to the fifth power. Okay. So now, we're going to do order of operations. So we start in the innermost parenthesis and make sure we can do all the work there, which we can. 
BO. Now, 1 minus 0 0.09 is 0 0.91 raised to the fifth power. Okay. Now, our next step, we're going to take 0 0.91 and raise it to the fifth power. Exponent comes next. Okay, so 0 0.91 raised, raised to the fifth. Oh, thank you. See yeah, I see him. Yep. Okay. Open the book. Open the book. You open the book. Equals V O times. Now again, we're gonna want the decimal, the whole decimal. So point six two four zero three two one two one uh four five one. Okay. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit here. Move it. Now, we're going to try to solve for VO. That's our variable here. So we're going to divide by this decimal. So we're going to divide by the 0.624, blah, 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 blah. And that's why it's so important to keep that in your calculator. Okay, don't clear it out. Because a lot of you have an answer feature on your calculator. You're looking for the ANS button. Usually it's a second function. You'd have to hit second function. And then over whatever button that is. Okay. So we're going to take 87 and divide it by that previous answer. No oh, sugar. Okay, divided by. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hold on, I'm trying to do this on my phone because the baby stole my calculator again. Hope you're not ripping pages, Gwen. Gwen, please don't rip pages out of the books. Okay, so when we do this out, I get 139.415894, blah, blah, blah. Now, again, remember, in this case, we're dealing with money. So we only round to two places. That's going to go to two. So the value of the graphing calculator in the beginning is about $139.42. All right, so there's that one. All right, let's shrink this down. Yes, I know the title example one, I copied the same thing, and but it, I forgot to take that out. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to read the question. We're not going to do anything else but read it. It says a price of a ticket increases at an annual rate of 15 percent the cost of the ticket is now 300 bucks find the cost 10 in the future in 10 years all right so let's go through this the price of a ticket increases so we're looking at an appreciation formula here because the value is going to go up at a rate of 15 percent so that's my rate okay now it costs 300 bucks right now so original value 300 bucks and they want to know what's the cost in 10 years so that's your time so v v o r t so future value i don't know what that is cost right now is 300 bucks rate is 15 percent, so it's going to go in as 0.15 and my time, we're going to try to calculate for 10 years in the future. All right, so we have everything. So let's set up our formula. V equaling VO with 1 plus R raised to the teeth. All right, so let's get started here. Okay, so V equaling 300 times 1 plus 0.15 raised to the 10th power i'm gonna to try to clean that up a little bit hey gwen can i have my calculator please no no of course not um, Duke, hot my legs, foot, see? yeah your foot's on uh, your foot's on the bottom of your legs huh all right so let's nice. do the work let's do the hot. work in here first nice hot. they're nice and hot okay 1.15, we're going to raise that to the 10th power. Okay, so now at this point, 1, now we're going to raise to this. We're going to do this next, the exponent. So 
and we're going to raise that to the 10th power. So I get V equaling 300 times 4.0455. Hey. Yeah, thanks for the blank. Ah, come on, man. I'm trying to write 5773 seven, and some change. Now I'm going to times this together. So I'm going to times that by 300. So the value of this object, 1213.6673201. And again, we're going to round to two places because we're dealing with money. So the value in 10 years is going to be $1,213.67. Okay, so there's that one. All right, let's do the next one. Baby shark, yes. Why don't you go find your baby shark? No. No, okay. All right, so here we go. Let's do this next one. A house costs $100,000 in 1994. In 1998, the value of the house is now 181000 Find the average rate of appreciation as a percent. So we have some work, a lot of work to do on this one. All right, so start off, reread the questions, pick out the data. So a house costs $100,000 in 1994. And in 1998, it was worth one hundred eighty one. dollars so we're going to see an appreciation. The value of the house went up. Okay, so let's pick it out. $100,000, what's what it originally cost? Okay, $181,000 is what it costs in the future. The rate I don't know, but I do know the time. So we need to note the time between 1994 and 1998, and that's four years. Right, so we kind of had that. So let's set up our stuff here. So and we're finding the rate, v v o r t. So my original value, hundred uh newer value. Sorry, newer value is one hundred eighty one thousand. Original value was a hundred thousand. Rate, I don't know, but the time is going to be, we found to be four years. All right, so let's set up our formula. V equaling VO, one plus R, whoops, raised to the teeth. So let's fill in our stuff. So 181,000 equaling VO, 100,000. One plus, now my rate I don't know, so it's gonna stay as R, but my time is gonna be four years. Now, like I said, this is where it's gonna get different a little bit here because again, doing this, I can't really add one in R and get a nice number, and I definitely don't wanna raise this to the fourth power because that means I'm gonna to have to do this. We have to write it four times and then you have to tour attack or foil or distribute or double distribute or whatever you want to call this all over again. So again, let's not do that. That's going to make our lives a living nightmare. Okay. So instead, what we're going to do is kind of work this a little backwards. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing alone by dividing by the 100,000. Now, what I usually like to do is keep this as a fraction. I know this is a pretty nice decimal, but I like to keep it as a fraction. So I'm gonna cancel off at least the zeros that I can get. So I'm gonna do 181 divided by 100. And the reason why I do this is because, yes, like you, I, we figured earlier, this is gonna be just 1.81. But in a lot of instances, you're gonna get a non-terminating uh, non or non-repeating decimal that goes on forever and is really ugly to look at. So it's easier to keep the fraction. Oops, sorry. I'm finished. Here, let me fix that. Hold on, I'm going backwards here. So now we're going to do R equals 1 plus R raised to the fourth power. Now, 
we still got to get at this R, but I got to take care of this exponent here. So I'm going to raise both sides to the one fourth power, which means the fourth root. But again, it's a lot easier on your calculator to use uh, raise to the one fourth power. So I'm going to shrink this down. Now, when you type this into your calculator, folks, you got to be careful. What I usually do is I'm going to open a parenthesis, type 181 divided by 100, close the parenthesis, hit raise to the, and then open another parenthesis for the fraction and do 1 divided by 4. And then hit the equals. And I get this. 1.1598975847584 is now equal to these cancel, leaving to 1 plus r. Okay. Let's see. Now, now that I have this... Now I'm going to start solving this, so I'm going to minus the 1 to get the r alone. So I get 0.1598975584 is equal to r. But, remember, yes, that is our rate as a decimal. The question wants the answer as a percentage. So to do a percent from a decimal, we have to times this answer by 100. I'm going to shrink this down. And then that's when we can round to our two decimal places. So times it by 100, I'm going to get 15.9897584% equals R. And now rounding to two places. So this is going to be 15.99% is equal to R. So be careful with that percentage stuff. Okay, got to make sure it goes over to a percent as your answer. Okay. All right, let's move to the next question. All right, so here we go. It says, a machine's value decreased from $500 to $102. If its rate of depreciation is 6.5%, how long did this take? All right, so we read it. Our next step, let's go through this. A machine's value decreases, which means it's a depreciation. From $500, that's the original value, to, uh, to $102. Okay. Now, if the rate is 6.5%, so we have our rate, this time we're going to be looking for time. And this is where it's going to get really fun because we're going to have, anytime you're looking for time with this, we're going to be using a logarithm. So V... V O R T. All right, so let's go in. So we're starting value of the machine was 500 bucks. Our new value is 102. Our rate is six and a half percent, but dividing that by 100 to put it as a decimal is 0 0.065. Be very careful with this. A lot of people keep it as it is, or they'll write it as 0.65. And that's 65%, not 6.5%. And time we don't know. So let's set up our equation. V equaling VO, 1 minus R raised to the T. All right, so let's substitute. Let's find what we have. We have 102 equaling 500. 1 minus R, which is 0 0.065 raised to the T. Now we're going to follow order of operations. So 102 equaling 500. Now, so 1 minus 0 0.065 gives me a grand total of 0.935 raised to the teeth. Now, obviously, I can't raise this to the teeth. I don't know what T is. So our next step is we got to get that chunk alone. So we're going to divide by 500. Now, again, if you want to reduce the fraction, you can reduce it by twos. You'd have 51 
over 250. If you want to do that, you can. I'm just going to keep it as 102 over 500 because, again, I'm just going to plug it into my calculator. It'll take care of business for me anyway. We have 0.935 raised to the teeth. So now at this point, now we're going to have to use the logarithm because i got to drag this t down into the problem so I can actually solve it. So we're going to use a log. So we're going to go log 102 divided by 500 equals t times log 0.935 Now, I'm not going to go to the calculator yet. I'm going to take care of this t and this log. I'm going to get this out of here. I'm going to divide by the log of 0.935. Okay. And now here's where the calculator is going to come in. Now, be very careful where you're typing this in. Now, with a graphing calculator or most scientific calculators, you can hit the log button. Then I would open a parenthesis, do 102 divided by 500, and then hit Get equals. No, but I need that, honey. I need that. Oh, come on. I need that. You you got Minnie and Mickey in my calculator. Come on. I got it. I know you got it. I want it back. My students are going to be mad. Hey. And there she goes. Minnie, Mickey, and my graphing calculator. All right. Looks like I'm back to the phone. Or, like I said, if you got to go on the phone, or in most cases, you may have to do 102 divided by 500 in a parenthesis, and then hit the log button in equals, okay? So, since I've been now forced to use my phone, okay, so let's go. Okay, so let's see, 102 divided by 500. Okay, so when I do that out, I get negative 0 0.69, still divided by the log, and 0.935, is equal to t just wanted to make sure that your first part this part up here matched what you should have gotten here otherwise your answer is going to be wrong and again don't round this yet keep this in your calculator because now what we're going to do is we're going to divide that answer by the log of 0.935 and hit equals again I get t oh, let me change color here So I get T is equal to, I'm going to get 23.652222207 years, because we're talking in years here. So I'm going to shrink this one more time, because I'm going to round to two places. So it's going to take it 23.65 years for it to get to that point. Okay, so there's that one. All right, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully you learned a lot. Hopefully I can get my graphing calculator back for my two-year-old, but we'll see about that. So again, good luck and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.